In this lesson, I want to go through brackets and how I'm going to be using brackets within this course. And of course, if you already have a web editor, uh, then you could also use your favorite web editor as well. Uh, so as long as you're able to access and update files, one of the good things about brackets is that you can select languages and it's also got a lot of really cool extensions that you can add in and also additionally it's got this ability to do a live preview. Uh, so this allows you to essentially load and run code uh, within a live display area. And of course, also we can go out to our browser and we can see whatever content's being rendered out and output. So in order to get brackets, you can get it from brackets.io and it's an Adobe product. Uh, so it is uh, open source, so it's free to download and um, it works across platforms. So much like XAMPP, which we're gonna be looking at as well, uh, you can download it for Windows, Linux, OS X, and so on. So you could download all the different uh, platform versions for brackets. And we can see that here within the different releases here. Uh, so they also have a GitHub repository for brackets and they have some additional really good resources here about brackets and how to use it and what's new with brackets. So there's regular updates on brackets as well. So a really good editor if you're not already using one or if you're looking to switch and try out different editors I would recommend checking out Brackets.io and I am going to be using that throughout this course as well. 